Hare Krishna. So beautiful question. Why does God allow Brahmanas to curse? So we hear from many stories in the Shastras that uh, Brahmanas, especially, for example, Durvasa Muni, Durvasa Rishi, curses the wonderful king and devotee Ambarish Maharaj because he was fasting and uh, the time to break fast came. But uh, he ate before even feeding a Brahmana like Durvasa Muni. So Durvasa became very angry. But, uh, you know, uh, Parikshit, uh, sorry, uh, Ambarish Mara said that, you know, the time, so I had to follow the time of breaking fast. But Durvasa Muni had nothing to do with it. He became very angry, he cursed him. You will die like this, you know. But of course, later we saw how <clears throat> uh, Lord protected Ambarish Maharaj. Or even the case of Shringi, who is the son of a Brahmana, uh, Shamikrishi. And this small boy, he heard that Parikshit had a little kind of, you know, due to some circumstances, insulted his father. And um, he became very angry with the king. A small five-year-old Brahmana boy cursed Parikshit Maharaj to die in seven days. So question is, a Brahmana is considered the topmost in society, the most advanced, right, of the class of human beings, the most closest to God. And because of that, you know, God also gives them some powers. But here they're acting so irresponsibly. So why is God giving them such powers? You know, for small, small things, innocent things, they're cursing people to die. What is this all about? So actually we see these incidents like this in the Bhagavadam and in Shastras are just showing how that everyone can make mistakes. Now just because these people are Brahmanas and so-called these Brahmanas are the topmost of society, fine. But that doesn't mean they are free from mistakes. Right? Even a Brahmana is under the three modes of material nature. Therefore everyone, wherever, whatever he may born into, whatever he may be, should strive to become a Vaishnava, a devotee of the Lord. So Shastras give these examples of these stories to show that how even these Brahmanas make mistakes. And in fact, in all these stories, they are chastised. Uh, Durvasa Rishi is chastised, Shringi is chastised. These are the mistakes that they should not be doing. But then question come, why does God give them this power? Well, that is simple. This is just because of the tapobal. This is the strength that comes from doing austerities. So because of doing austerities, penances and doing a lot of prayers and meditation, they get some power. But at the same time, because of anger and misusing of their power, just by uttering this curse, actually they are losing all their Brahma Tejas, their Brahmana Tejas, their power that is accumulated due to Tapasya. They are losing their Tapobal. Srimad Bhagavatam gives a reference for this. Uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, 4th Canto, 14th Chapter, 41 Shloka, 4, 14, 41. Beautiful Shloka which says, for a Brahmana who does not perform his duty, which is actually to think of the welfare of others, such a neglect, he actually loses his power, his spiritual power diminishes. An example is given of Bhinna Bhandat Payoyata, just like water in a cracked pot slowly leaks out. Similarly, the Brahmana loses their power and potency also because of such irresponsible acts. Let us see another reference in Srimad Bhagavatam, chastising the Brahmana for mis the usage of his power, irresponsible. So the great quality of a Brahmana actually is forgiveness. That is his real power. So here is 9th Canto, 15th chapter, 40th verse, 9, 15, 40. In the pastimes of Parashuram with his father Jamadagni. So here uh, it is mentioned a beautiful verse. Shamaya rochate lakshmir brahmi shauri yata prabha shaminam ashu bhagavam stushate harir ishwara. So here it is mentioned, Jamadagni is saying that the duty of a Brahmana is to forgive this Shamaya Rochate Lakshmir. It is as bright, it is as powerful as the goddess of fortune itself. Shamaya means forgiveness. It is illuminating like the sun. In fact, uh, Brahmi, Brahmi Sauri Yata Prabha, it is Prabhavam, its power is like the sun. The sun can never be contaminated. So this is the real culture of, or the real prowess or the power of a Brahmana, to forgive Shaminam Ashu Bhagavams, by observing the quality of forgiveness, one actually pleases the Lord. Tushyate Hari Ishwara. Very quickly one can please the Lord if we have this quality of forgiveness. Similarly, this also reminds us about a beautiful shloka mentioned by Chanakya Pandit. Chanakya Pandit in his Niti Shastra mentioned, what is true beauty? He says, true beauty for different people are different things. He says, Kokilanam Swaro Rupam, for the Kokila bird, the cuckoo bird, its voice is very beautiful. Strinam rupam pati vratam. 
for a woman the her beauty is her chastity or her obedience to her husband vidya roopam kurupanam for a person who may not be very good looking but if he is very intelligent he is very attractive shama roopam tapasvinam and for a tapasvi for an aesthetic for a for a yogi for a rishi for a brahmana shama that is the real beauty of a aesthetic that he is actually uh, his forgiveness the quality of forgiveness is what makes him beautiful so like this we can see in all regards that yes the shastras are not forgiving or not biased to just brahmanas or something like that god has given them power because they have done great austerities and sacrifices yes but the moment that power is misused then the everything is taken away so indeed with great power comes great responsibility right and therefore the shastras are not biased to anyone but they're teaching us a lesson that whoever you are whatever you may be but one must follow the laws so in this relation people Supreme do ask question Rich. what about nowadays in kali yuga the brahmanas that we see here if they curse they say something what about that so no need to worry the power of the prowess of the brahmana is only gotten because of some austerities so if we do some spiritual austerities some prayers some and what not then we also get some spiritual powers right so just by being born in a brahmana family does not mean that a person automatically is entitled to this brahmana tejas or tapobal one has to earn it and therefore just being born in a brahmana family does not mean anything so do not be worried if a brahmana curses or get angry or saying something whatever right in this kali yuga it has it does not matter it just does not work hari krishna